Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an Alice in Wonderland inspired look. Please ignore my hair. We are going to start a new headband thing. And today we're using the new Urban Decay Alice through the Looking Glass palette. It's absolutely gorgeous as you can tell by my face. And then the palette at the bottom just pulls out and you get a lot of colors. Which today we are going to play with a lot of color. I'm going to be inspired by this look. This is from the Urban Decay ad. I don't know how well I'm going to do, but this is the inspiration. Taking the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm just going to put that all over my lids with my fingers. This helps your makeup stay all day. Then taking the RCMA No Color Powder with the e.l.f. Blush Brush, I'm just going to set that um, primer so that my eyeshadows will blend easily and they don't stick to creams. Then taking the Alice in Wonderland palette in the color Dormouse and a Sigma E40 brush, we're just going to blend this in the crease. It is a really nice matte transition shade. Then taking the Morphe E28 and the shade Cake, which is a hot pink, we are really going to build this into the crease. This is one of the main colors in this look. It's very bright, but it does take a lot to build it up, so it just, you just have to keep packing on that pigment. Then taking a MAC 242 and the shade Hatter, which is this bright green, and we're going to spray a little Fix Plus onto the brush, and we're just going to pack this all over the lid. This is the main color in the look, so this is supposed to be really bright, and it did take a couple uh, tries to get that pigment that bright. Taking a Morphe 330 and the shade Gone Mad, which is a darker purple, that is going to be our outer V or the darker color in the outer corner of the eye. We're just going to blend this into the crease and just on that outer V, it does transfer a little bit down onto the green, so I will have to touch it up later, but it still is a really pretty color. We're just going to wipe away the excess that fall onto my face and then we're going to start on the face. Taking the Urban Decay B6 spray, we're just going to prime our face and then taking the Benefit Pore Professional, which blurs the pores, I'm just going to put that on the places that get the most pores. Then taking the Becca Backlight Primer, we're going to prime the rest of the face. This gives a nice glow to the skin where the Pore Professional really just minimizes pores. Taking the Dior Air Flash, and you've seen me use this before, but I sprayed it directly onto my face. This time we're going to spray it onto a Real Techniques uh, beauty sponge. And this actually gives a lot more coverage than just spraying it on your face. But the point is, is that it comes in an aerosol can, so it would be easier just to spray it on your face. So if you're looking for a really uh, light coverage foundation, just spray it on your face. If you're looking for a medium coverage, I would use it with a beauty blender. So now I'm just going to pat it into my face. Then taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and a Morphe E8, we are going to just dab that underneath the eye. This concealer is Thick. If you have any dark circles, any lines under your eyes, anything, it is going to cover it. The only thing is, for me personally, as I'm looking back onto this, this tutorial, it does look a little cakey, and I wish I would have um, used a different concealer, but I think I do go in and blend it out with a beauty sponge. 
but first we're going to take the Wet n Wild Illuminati Highlighting Concealer Pen and we are just going to highlight with that and then we're going to buff everything out with the Real Techniques sponge. This gets rid of a lot of excess concealer because that did kick up. Then taking the RCMA No Color Powder and a um, Morphe E3, we are just going to tap that underneath the eyes and we're really going to get in there so it doesn't cake up throughout the day. Then taking the IT Cosmetics All Over Powder Brush, we are just going to put that powder all over the rest of the face to set it to make sure uh, nothing flakes off or moves. Then taking a Sigma E30 and the color Hatter, we are going to draw this color on pretty much the whole eye. Like I said, I really wanted the green to be prominent in the eye. Um, and if you look at the picture, she does have the green on the under eyes. I just don't think it was as much as I put in, but I still love it. Then taking the shade Gone Mad, which was that dark purple, we're just going to put this on the outer portion to make it look like liner, which I really like the way this turned out. Then taking a small flat Morphe brush and the color Lily, which is a iridescent white. Um, if you look at it, it's white, and then if you turn another way, it's pink. I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with this. I really like this color. It's one of my favorites. And I did go ahead and um, highlight the inner corner. Then taking the Makeup Forever Aqua Eye Stick in black, I'm just going to line my under eyes. If you could see, I'm pulling down my face with a Real Techniques blending sponge. This really helps with uh, not getting wrinkles, because um, if you're pulling at your skin, it's going to cause wrinkles. And this is the finished eye look, completely finished. Then going in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and a Morphe E59, I'm going to just bronze up the face. Um, I didn't really want to do a contour with this, I just wanted a bronze up skin. This bronzer is very light so it did take a while to build up to my liking. Then taking the Milani blush in 8 Coralina and a Morphe E4, which is technically a contour brush, but I use it as blush. We're just going to dust the apples of the cheeks and work our way back with blush. Then taking this beautiful Jeffree Star Highlight in Mint Condition. I know it's not the like a regular highlight, but I really wanted something weird. We're going to be taking a Morphe 510 brush and we're just going to highlight those cheeks. And I mean, come on, you can't tell me that doesn't look pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. It might be a little weird, but absolutely gorgeous. Then taking a Real Technique setting brush and the Becca highlight in Opal. I just wanted to give a little extra highlight because why not? Why not add that little extra highlight to the top of your cheek cheekbones? Then taking the Stila Liquid Eyeliner in black, we are just going to do the basic wing like I always do. Um, I really want to do a wing with this one. There's some looks I don't like wings with, but this one was just weird and bold, and I just want to do a really nice wing. Then taking the Lancome Sills Booster XL uh, Mascara Primer, we're just going to prime our lashes. Primer really gives your lashes a more voluminous look. It really like makes them look thicker, so I always like to prime my eyes first. Well, not all the time, but, but some of the time. Then taking the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, I'm just going to go over that primer so you don't see any white. And I really love this mascara. It gives really good volume and really good length to your eyelashes. Then 
we're gonna take on a uh, MAC Fix Plus. We're just going to spray the face and set it. And now usually I would stop here, but this came, this was also in the collection, and it is the Urban Decay Alice lipstick in a shade I absolutely cannot pronounce. I will write the shade on the screen because I cannot pronounce it to save my life, but it's just a really nice matte red, and I thought if we're going to go bold, we're going to go red. And that is the final look. I just wanted to thank everyone for watching. And if you want to see anything, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm looking for any requests to do any types of videos. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye.